I personally find criterion-based assessment to be far more rewarding for the students and far more enriching than the very much old-fashioned test out of ten that we used to do in the IGCSE and the, the old key stage systems. In most of the subjects you have like a skill assessment and then a assessment where you're just given a question, a problem, and then you're, you're supposed to take it home and um, find the solution for it, research a lot and look for a variety of solutions which will um, which should solve the problem and that makes you an uh, independent learner in some ways because you are taking a problem and solving it by yourself and you inside yourself you know that um, wow I'm capable of solving problems and you're confident of, uh, to take it out to, to the real life. And At first I'm not gonna lie it was a bit difficult because I'd never heard of believe it or not the word criteria um, but it was really nice because um, a lot of the people here, they're very internationally minded and you know, I was able to make new friends very easily and um, I didn't feel intimidated to ask any questions. The teachers were very helpful um, in answering them and I think a lot of it, what I like about it is it's not set in stone. So if I didn't understand something, I could easily just you know, go to a teacher and then you know, by showing that I was trying and by um, you know, changing the mistakes that I'd made, you know, they were able to Make, improve my grade because they saw that I was trying and I think One of the difficult things in, in teaching is, is the, the differentiation. If you've got a math problem and you want to teach a math concept, you might think of different ways to teach a group in the same content, but for, di for kids with different kind of learning styles, different levels of ability, but our subject sort of differentiates itself because they choose what they want to make and how they want to make it and then that means that they are operating within the boundaries of what they think they're capable of and the you know make, making a product that they're comfortable with and in a in a direction that suits them um, one of my major changes from my previous school was especially in math because I normally had tests but then when I came to year eight here uh, we had assessments, take-home assessments that required you to uh, relate the topic into uh, several aspects in life and that, want, that caused you to think outside the box and make you want to um, experience more, I suppose. And the MYP, I think, has been a great help to my school life and my education because of how easy it is to use and the workload is always evenly distributed and you get to use the criteria to understand what you're working with. I feel that all the assessments are easily spread out and the teachers are always there to help you gain a higher understanding of your work and produce work that you really enjoy doing or at a high quality standard. But with MYP, you learn the skills and you learn how to apply them into real life situations so it actually helps when you move from, when you finish school and actually go on to bigger things in life. Um, the MYP has helped me a lot in um, referencing effectively, which I think is very important and it's something I did not learn to do in my old school. Um, I really like how when we are given assessments to do, um, we are also handed the criteria, so when completing those assessments we can refer to the criteria and then it helps you get a much better grade than you would if you didn't have the criteria. The MYP has always helped me get organized and make sure I hand in all my work in on time and cooperate with my peers if need be. The MYP, I feel, is the next step of education and it's something which I feel I'm really lucky to have done.